What is it, fun size? I checked Mr. Hutnick all over, but I couldn't find a tick bite. Oh, my God. I gotta go figure this out. I can't believe it. Oh, and by the way, you have a ridiculous speaking voice. It just... and he... Didn't I tell you two to treat Mr. Meltzer? Yes, but he won't let us because... No, no, no. Remember our new system so that I never have to hear your voice again? He doesn't want to be treated by interns with your eye dotted with a heart and a little frowny face at the end. It's incredible. Your handwriting is actually more annoying than your voice. Regardless, you interns are the future of this hospital. And if you don't treat patients, you won't learn. What I want you to do is walk over to Mr. Meltzer and say these words. I'm your doctor. Deal with it. Can you say that? I'm, I'm your, your doctor. doctor. Not you. Never you. I am your doctor. Deal with it. Peachy. Dr. Cox, we heard that you were waiting for the oh, pediatrician. Please, remember our rule. We, we heard that you were waiting for the pediatrician. Uh, he's at home, so we paged him, and he said that we should give your daughter the shot ourselves. There is no way in hell that I'm letting an incompetent intern touch my child. Uh, uh, but, but you said we are the future of the hospital, and we need to learn. You need to learn on patients not related to me, ones that I don't care if you kill or maim. We are your doctors. Deal with it. Yeah, we are your doctors. Why don't you always talk that way? Because it hurts my throat too much. <laughs>